Hi friends, welcome to this class. And this is class on electrophilic substitution reaction. And we have discussed the same in case of furan, but here it is pyrrole. How electrophile will attack the pyrrole? See, the nitric acid HNO3 in presence of this C3CO ties O at 263 Kelvin, we are going to get 2 nitro pyrrole. That is nothing but nitration. 2 nitro pyrrole will be our product. The same pyrrole when reacted with SO3 in presence of pyridine, we are going to get 2 pyrrole sulfonic acid that is pyrrole 2 pyrrole 2 sulfonic acid group we are going to get when halogenated with iodine if 4 moles of iodine react with 1 more of pyrrole we are going to get tetraiodo pyrrole the other name of this tetraiodo pyrrole is iodine Iodone is the under name for tetra. Tetra means 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Tetra iodo pyrrole. All these four hydrogens are replaced by iodine. Here one hydrogen is replaced by sulfonic acid group. Form nitrogen. The one hydrogen is replaced by nitro group. Like this, we are going to get. This is nothing but federal craft acylation. In presence of SNCl2, C3CO2 is O, reactive pyrrole, we get this compound. 2 acetyl pyrrole. This is the compound. This is about electrophilic substitution reaction. And also, I told in pyrrole, that is in furan, sorry, in furan, I told why electrophile attack only at the second position, why not at third position. If you have not watched that video, please do watch it. Because, because if it attacks to second position, the number of canonical structure will be more. So, the electrophile will attack to second position. Because the compound will be stable because of more canonical structure compared to 3. If it attacks to third position, then the number of canonical structure are less. So, the compound form will be less stable. So, the electrophile only attacks at the second position. Which I have explained the same thing there. That is in furan. In case of furan, I have explained the same thing in detail. So please go there and watch those videos if you have not got here. And I have some some other reaction. See the same pyrrole in presence of zinc, CH3COH, acetic acid. It is undergoing reduction and it forms like this. The compound will be like this. Only two hydrogens added. It gives two hydrogen. Here one and here one. And the name of this is pyrrolene. We get the compound pyrrolene. The same pyrrole when treated with uh, this one nickel and hydrogen. And heated. This is strong reducing agent. Whereas this this mixture is weak, weak reducing agent. Whereas this nickel in presence of hydrogen when heated, it is acts as strong reducing agent, and we get the same compound. That is tetra. Four hydrogens are added. At electrophilic substitution, we saw four iodine were. Uh, replaced by hydrogens that is hydrogens were replaced by iodine in uh, halogenation so we got 4 iodo uh, pyrrole but here we are going to get tetra hydro pyrrole 4 hydrogens are added to the pyrrole this is nothing but reduction addition of hydrogen is nothing but reduction whereas addition of oxygen is nothing but oxidation in next class we shall discuss about acidic character of this pyrrole the pyrrole we know that ammonia if this is ammonia see see this is ammonia nh3 because of this lone pair of electron it is acidic sorry it is basic in nature isn't it whereas consider hcl hcl is acid because it is going to give us h plus ion and cl minus and this is ammonia because of this lone pair of electron it is basic in nature whereas in pyrrole see this is the structure of pyrrole 
it has got two electrons but these two electrons involved in conjugation because of which its uh, its uh, what its basicity decreases so it acts as little acidic that is it acts as weak acid in detail i will discuss about its acidic nature in next class so you please watch that video also and this is uh, basic about that acidic nature in next class we shall discuss in detail about the acidic nature of pyrrole till then take care and have a great day bye